map of Ching of this area. Yes. Okay, cool. And this is Beijing Road now. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hey everyone, we are at the famous Beijing Road. I'm just gonna film behind me. As you can see, it's massive. It's like the stone from before, and it's like encased in this glass. I think this is like the foundation of this place, so it's like historic. Uh, right behind me, we have the Great Buddha Temple. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it justice by filming this like this, and you can see here. Amazing. Look at that. Oh, I love this stuff. Day number three in China. Uh, <laughs> going to find breakfast. Okay, everyone, I'm back with my uh, food adventures for breakfast. Uh, couldn't find soy milk, partly my fault, uh, but I walked around to see if there was any pictures, couldn't really find anything, so I stopped by a bakery. And I stopped by the one bakery where the girl kind of understood Cantonese, but didn't know how to speak it. Um, and then I had some payment problems with my Alipay. Uh, first transaction went through, I turned around and got a milk tea and then it didn't go through. Thank God I had cash, which was a really weird thing. Anyways, I'm gonna do a taste test because I'm fucking hungry. And I got a bun here. Looks delicious. Uh, let's try. Mmm. So it's got filling inside. The one we had yesterday didn't. Oh man. Really good. Yeah. So I've been eating kind of these, this taste palette all my life, but it's like not overpoweringly sweet. And it's generally the right amount of saltiness. Not just this di like bun in particular, but dishes all around, how they salt it, you know, just enough. For myself, it's like perfect. So, anyways, that's this. Um, the second one is the milk tea. Here. Just gonna drink it. Good. Really strong. Again, not too sweet. Really nice. And the last little guy here is what we call po tot. And you can see it's caramelized on top. It's, it's basically an egg tart, but it's caramelized on top. So let's give it a try. These are mini ones. So you can see they're little guys. Really cute. Mmm, super fluffy. Very nice. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy this. And uh, <laughs> I'll probably do some kind of advice uh, channel or topic a little bit later. Thanks. Okay, we're at this beautiful restaurant right here. You can see this incredible view, right? And let me just take some video footage of the rest of the restaurant. Yeah, amazing. Look what we ordered. So we've eaten like all day in the last, I don't know, like four hours. So we're not that hungry. We got some blackened char siu. I don't know what this is. Tofu, egg, oh, tofu eggplants uh, dish, which looks pretty interesting. And I got myself a chicken soup, uh, bone broth chicken soup. So we're gonna try it out. So this is my first attempt at this chicken soup. Looks like that. Okay. So, try it. Oh man. It's like super pure, clean, not oily. Um, just very like rich and earthy. Tons of flavor. Piping hot, which is how I love soup. I'm very annoyed when, I'm like my mom, very annoyed when I drink soup that's like lukewarm or cold. Should never be like that, except like gazpacho. Really good. I'm gonna enjoy my meal now. <laughs> food adventure on our own. Kylie is eating at home today, so we're gonna go check this out. I wanted to buy this place yesterday for, I think it's called Chang Fun. It's like rice noodle wrap. 
usually stuffed with stuff like shrimp or pork. The guy told me to get um, pork meat and beef. So I'm just gonna take a quick video of it and check it out. It's like a little table with like some more like sweet soy sauce uh, and some extremely hot chilies. Alright, let's do it. Oh man, super fresh, really, really good. Cooked to perfection. The meat inside is really tasty. Mm. Yeah, let's try with a little bit of hot sauce. Oh, that's pretty hot. A little drop is okay. Good. Hey everyone, uh, so I just went out to get breakfast. I got a hot dog bun with uh, chives. So that's what it is. Um, this was four RMB, which was stupid cheap. It was like 40 cents Canadian. In Canada, this bun probably would have cost four bucks. Like I think just av like average buns without like a hot dog or anything like that. I'm gonna taste this. Uh, the other thing I got was this Costa coffee at a corner shop, which was eight RMB, so it was actually more than the bun. Uh, what does that work out to? Like a dollar fifty, like two bucks. So I don't know if it's any good. It's I think it's got coconut milk in it. That's why there's a coconut. So we'll try it out and let's taste the bun. Pretty good. It's fresh. Made today. Bounces back. Hot dog, your average hot dog. A little bit on the sweet side, but I think that's probably balanced out by the hot dog, right? The saltiness. I don't think you can ever really go wrong with something like this. It's really cheap. Uh, if you're looking for like a casual breakfast, like this is probably it. So we are currently at Newtown. Uh, there's a park here. It's really chill and relaxing. There's like a little pond here. And it's surrounded by like just mega towers everywhere. I'm just gonna film this so that you can all see. This is the second highest building. Yes. Okay, second highest building. The the Eiffel Tower looking thing is the third highest, or the highest. Uh, My it's the highest uh, highest building. High Guangzhou. Uh, well, oh. this one actually the second second high. Okay, Nigong. High. Oh, okay. Second highest, third, and then highest. Okay, interesting. And there's like some pretty big names here. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's like PwC building, PwC buildings over there, and there's an Ernst & Young building, if you can see this little UI. Yeah, so this place is massive. Used to be, uh, Kylie told me it used to be farmland, and used to be farmland. And apparently, um, I guess this was built in the last 15 years, and they just, uh, paid out the farmers for all this land and they created this whole place now there's like a basement where there's like food courts and i guess like connections for uh rail and it stretches all along basically all these blocks so you can get f like i'm assuming you can get to all these buildings uh underground um in like the comfort of ac <laughs> instead of coming out here but um look at this park like it's really nice. We're about to take this electric train. It's two RMB and it is all across Newtown, the downtown. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. It's super crowded here, so you can see. So I don't think we can get a seat. There's going to be a lot of little ones here, but uh, we'll see. So it's finally arrived. Let's take a look. This is pretty cool. Looks nice inside. Cool. The eyeball here. It's blinking at me. It's so weird. Yeah, this is so weird. This is so bizarre. 
this store, Gentle Monster. It's got all these crazy kind of statues. And apparently it's like a really well name brand uh, glasses here in Asia. Just beautiful. Still in Newtown. And we're at like the rooftop of this park central. It's like this mall, high-end mall. And this park closes at 8.30. And you can see Tesla's down there. There's Shake Shack down there. There's a bunch of, there's Outback Steakhouse, which is garbage food. Um, yeah, don't ever eat there, please. Okay, we're here at this famous cafe. I'll take a video of it later, but it's been chronicled by a lot of food YouTubers. This is their famous Lai Fun. And it looks like this. I already mixed in like the pickled cabbage in here, uh, but it's amazing. I've never seen anything like it in Vancouver, so I'm gonna try it out. Let's try it. Looks like there's some mushrooms in here as well. Oh wow. Like creamy, very umami. Right amount of salt. A little bit of the cabbage. Coconut pudding, super sweet. It's very creamy, very smooth. Man, it's amazing. He's making black sesame, like paste, literally from scratch. It's like a <clears throat> random concert just busted out in this area of town that's close to the water and they sell all kind of like ancient traditional statues and monuments and stuff like that. All of a sudden they closed down and then this guy came out with a mic and an amplifier and I guess that sign over there is the hours that he sings or something? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey everybody, uh, I'm just going to do a quick taste test. I'm trying to adjust my schedule so it's like 1 p.m. while I'm eating 1.30 while I'm eating breakfast here. I went down to get another bun that I've never seen before. Seems to have like coconut flakes and maybe like... I don't know if this is black sesame or not. I'm not actually sure, but uh, we'll give it a try. Yeah, that's the bun. So the topping is savory. It's not sweet. Obviously the bun is sweet. I feel like it's either pork floss or reminds me of dried squid. It's an interesting combination. Not my favorite, but again, I'm kind of biased. I don't particularly like salty buns, I guess, like Chinese buns. Oh, yeah. So I just got something at McDonald's, close to where I am, because I felt like a beef burger. Um, it's called a bacon lettuce tomato double beef burger. It has bacon in it. So I just got this dessert. It has an egg yolk in it. I've never had it before. It's a hot dessert. It's not supposed to be eaten cold. I guess it needs to be hot because they've put an egg yolk in it and it will make it richer and thicker but it obviously needs to cook um, so yeah I think that's the idea. I'm gonna mix it. The lady told me to mix it and then try it so that's what I'm gonna do. Like mix it really thoroughly. You can see there's the egg yolk. So you're supposed to break it. Right? You're supposed to break it and then really like mix it up well. My first reaction, it's hot.
really good actually. Very creamy, especially because of the egg yolk. You got that eggy taste to it. Almost kind of like eggnog, but without the punch. Um, sweetness is like at the right level, so it's not as much as eggnog. But yeah, really good. So I'm at the barber right now in China. I really don't know what's going to happen. I went to one that was 50 RMB. The guy looked completely disinterested in cutting my hair. So I left and I went down the street to this salon. I'm assuming it's a chain, Kramer's Paris. It's like a name brand. And it's 85 RMB. That's their lowest package. Equivalent to almost what I would pay in Canada, I'd probably pay, that's like, what, 15, 16 bucks Canadian. Probably pay like 23 tax and tip in. And that's not even like really high end, that's just literally a cut. Just got a massage, not a massage, sorry. Shampoo, conditioner um, by one of his assistants. Sat down, got a tea, uh, just waiting for the barber to finish with someone else. He's gonna cut my hair. He did a debrief. Um, when I first sat down um, and was like, okay, hey, cool, so like, how do you want to cut your hair? He spoke like speaking Cantonese to me. And I showed him some pictures and gave him some tips on the sides of how he wants to cut it. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out well and it's not a disaster. Hmm? Hey everyone, so I am at KFC in the middle of Guangzhou right now before work. Never had KFC in China, so this is the first time for me. Check out the bit. It was $39.50 for a chicken sandwich, extra crispy or extra flavor. I'm not exactly what sure that is, and a large cappuccino. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> that was not good. But I'll drink it anyways, because I need the caffeine. And then let's try the chicken sandwich. So let's take a look. That's what it looks like. It's pretty hefty. It's got lettuce in it, uh, no tomatoes, a uh, bunch of mayo. And looks like it's like literally a fried piece of chicken that's just put into two buns. The buns look reasonably substantial. I wonder if there's pickles in there. Uh, not sure if that's like a thing in China, but let's take a bite. Pretty dry. Yeah. The non-fried one we had at McDonald's um, was better. Uh, what, it was like two days ago? It's here when you bite into the batter, it's like a razor thin chicken breast. Pretty much nothing. That side is probably a little bit beefier, but it's a lot of batter. So not really a lot of protein, to be honest with you. McDonald's sandwich is better, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, first time using massage chair here in China. It is interesting, to say the least. 